Welcome everyone. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to start off with a little bit of a different thing. I had a comment earlier this week that pointed out where I had goofed up on the instructions way back. <laughs> so big thanks to Miss Samantha Breezy for pointing this out, or Ms. Samantha Breezy, I guess, more appropriate. I don't know how that works anymore. <laughs> but anyway, big thanks to her for pointing this out. I, I totally missed this uh, illustration here. Through I didn't it didn't even register in my brain, so that's sort of. But it basically, you only put these supports on to the first notch. That way, you got basically these little tabs here, so they're much more flexible. So you'll be able to mount them into the road bed, which is why I had so much trouble making them work. And you know, hopefully, you've seen this before you actually didn't if, if you if you're going along with me on this hopefully you saw this before you tried to assemble it and messed it up like I did but with that being said let's move on and finish up some builds let's finish this build up today shouldn't be too much of a kerfuffle got our let's move these back up here and take these off got a a6 okay that's that's a more of these delicate pieces here, so I'm just going to break the frame off around it, maybe. Did that work? <laughs> no? That part? Okay, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Down here. Mm. <laughs> Alright, I got them. There they go. And... Oops, other side. Works better when you use the side with the sand on it. <laughs> These go with the in, on the inside of the structure. With the printing in. Oh, get you out of the way. Handy dandy tweezers. Where'd you go? Right there. Pretty easy, actually. Thank goodness. <laughs> and these actually, I can get away without sanding on them. These just go on this side. Maybe. There it goes. again there. Prop you up. I think that's going to end up being the thing because it is actually, doesn't actually fit. Alright. Now, what goes next? Okay, then we get our little towers that we built back in, I don't even remember when we, step one or two I think. And they go just down into these slots. Like this. Hmm. Huh. No, there are no slots for you. What's going on there? <laughs> So these, okay, it's not flush, it just goes down. I got gotcha. you. This just goes down between that one that we just installed. Yeah. And then these tabs go in like that. Okay. 
Yeah, that works. Same thing over here. I've lost a piece. <laughs> okay. I've only got one D15. Where the rest of it go? <laughs> I'm sure it's one of those deals where whenever it fell off, I I'm going to put this here where I, exactly where I remember it, and I've forgotten it since then. Mm. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Found it. <laughs> this one. It evidently just fell on the floor, so... Break it by. That was a bad sound. <laughs> okay, and fourteen. Uh, more delicate pieces, I think. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm getting it out. Okay. Excellent. So, it's always nerve wracking for me when handling basically anything delicate. <laughs> Gotta go too. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, 
All right, and I keep breaking my root bed. <laughs> okay, what's next? Okay, all these little doodads. <laughs> Get them off the form. I'm end up just punching them out with the tweezers. <laughs> All right. Now these just go on here. Where they go. <laughs> I don't think they're supposed to go significantly lower. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see a little notch for them now right there. Hmm. Right. Probably not showing up on camera. <laughs> it's just a tiny little barely there notch. Honestly, I thought these were one pieces over here. <laughs> these got these and go on top of those. So let's go down a little bit on them. Probably about that much. <laughs> yeah. Oops, other way. Of course, here we are. More delicate stuff to, <laughs> for me to break. Feel okay about that. <laughs> yeah, let's move to the other side. Just trying to do even pressure on two sides of it. And hopefully not break the tower off. <laughs> or the spire, I guess what that would be. Maybe. <laughs> All right. And that does it. Let's see, pop up the thing in. <laughs> All right. But that's a 
think that's it. Yeah. That completes our tower bridge assembly. I say in theory, the, oh, thought the, the other side was the broken one. <laughs> Guess I've spun it around. Okay. Maybe, maybe it'll hold itself in place like that and I can use it like that. Well, let's turn the lights on and enjoy the view. <laughs> That's pretty good, I think. Uh, I, to, I will have to glue this one up because it didn't, like I said, like more or less, I won't reach that clamp. But I think that looks pretty nice. I'll throw up a short with it on the Lazy Susan sometime today, today or tomorrow. And I'll give a quick little, as is tradition, quick little preview of my next build. It's actually a four pack. Items, I think I'm going into assuming these are going to be one day a piece build because they look like they're fairly simple and it's for eight year olds and up. I don't even let me see if I can find out what pieces each one is. <laughs> yeah, there's only 10 pieces or so, it looks like 10, 13, 10, and 14. But I'm doing the house crests for Harry Potter, all the different. And my intention is, I say one at a time, after my experience with painting the R2-D2 last time, I'm gonna, I am gonna paint them a coat of white on top and go back, a real light coat of white, <laughs> and then go back and actually paint them the proper house colors. I'll try and do it as it is. You know, I'll be using this doodad as a guide. But anyway, there, there's colored pictures on the back of each one to give you impressions of what you want to do with them. So that's my plan on these. With that being said, thanks for watching everyone. As usual, like, subscribe, comment, complain, share. Do whatever you want to with all that. Be good to one another, and I'll see you next time. Bye.